hi guys welcome to welcome back to my channel whatever um as you can see um my hair is a mess and it's dry it's non-functional it's i can't even style it right now so we're gonna fix that today because today i'm going to be doing an aloe vera treatment on my dry 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 hair and this is actually going to go um towards my prepping of my protective style so these few couple of upcoming days i'm going to be doing you know treatments on my hair to prep my hair for protective style and i think i'm even going to start trim my hair so guys stay tuned to see all of that good stuff but anyways for now this video i'm just going to be applying aloe vera gel onto my hair now i know that this <laughs> this this obviously does not look like an aloe vera gel um bottle but i did take out there was basically about nothing in here i cleaned this bottle and then i blended my aloe vera and did all that stuff and then it's in here so i'm just gonna apply that all over my hair so that it can have you know hydration and i'm using this for a pre-poo i'm not really using it to moisturize my hair or anything because my hair is way too dirty it won't absorb any of this you know for hydration i'm just using it for pre-poo and manageability purposes but for those who want to see this is what my hair is looking like it's very much undefined it has absolutely no moisture and i had my hair in cornrows for almost two weeks i took it out i blew it out and you know the humidity got to my blowout and yeah this is what it's looking like and my scalp is i don't know if you guys can see but it's disgusting it's flaky i really need a detox so first things first i'm gonna start and i'm going to take um these little pom-poms that i made <laughs> and i'm gonna section my hair into four sections hey guys so this is the section that i'm going to be working with and i think it's a little too big for me to work with so i'm going to split it into two so that it's a bit more you know manageable for me to work into okay this is the section i'm going to work with as you can see it's you know dry very dry so yeah. All I'm gonna do is just take ooh, this gel that I made. It's so runny. Usually it's a bit more stickier than this, but it's so runny this time. So I'm just gonna apply it to my hair. And yeah, I'm going to attempt to first start finger detangling before I use my comb just you know to prevent any breakage and my ends are terrible so if you see them I know my ends need to be trimmed and like immediately I'm going to trim them soon so don't come for me in the comments and say oh your ends are like terrible I know I know they're terrible now I just want to talk about how this makes my hair feel. It makes my hair feel instantly soft. And I'm not even trying to be dramatic by saying that. It really does make my hair feel instantaneously soft. Um, yeah, I really like it. Yeah. 
first section and a whole lot more to do. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is what the one side looks like. It already feels so good. So let me just take it out for you guys so you can see the much you know the difference. Okay guys, this is what my hair is looking like right now. Surely it looks better than what we started with. So I'm gonna put a plastic cap onto my hair and all that good stuff and tomorrow I'll be rinsing it out.
as you had seen in the previous clip before the clay mask wasn't that runny but it was not that thick so I made it in this consistency so that it's easier to apply to my hair and it doesn't leave a horrible mess. Okay, so over here, as you can see, I'm applying the mask to my scalp. That was my main focus because my scalp was dry and it was flaky and it was super horrendous. And then I also applied it to the body of my hair because my hair was acting weird. It just wasn't taking in moisture anymore. It just was really acting weird. So I thought maybe this mask was just going to clarify my hair and give it a fresh start. And I really really enjoyed this mask it wasn't as drying as most people say it was and I want to also note that I did not use apple cider vinegar with this mask I rather substituted it with some green tea I also want to note that the consistency of this mask is really your own preference for me I just made this mask not too runny because I didn't want a horrible mess it was kind of more on the thicker side but not too thick to the point where I couldn't apply it Okay guys, this is what my hair looks like, um, yeah, it definitely elongated my hair, obviously in this portion of the video you can't see any curl definition as yet, but I think it's just because I put a lot on my hair, so yeah, but when it dries up you will be able to see just a little bit, and I did see some when I rinsed it out, and what I'm just gonna do is apply the rest of the mask to my face, cause like, why not, why not have, you know, a whole self-care day while I'm doing my hair, I also want to note that I'm going to let this sit for an hour without a plastic bag so that it completely dries and does what it needs to do.
one whole hour um yeah i definitely did do something to my curls to find them a little bit or whatever but yeah my hair was feeling hard hard my face i felt like it was gonna crack i thought that like literally a mask destroyed my face but luckily that did not happen and i'm gonna rinse it out and here we are rinsed out clean my hair feels rejuvenated it feels amazing and it felt so soft like i just did a whole mask why does my hair feel soft that does not make sense it's supposed to feel stripped or something i thought this was supposed to clarify your hair or whatever but never done the less i'm going to deep condition now um yeah i'm just applying it and then like twisting my hair really bothering to detangle that much because after the deep conditioning process that's when I really detangle my hair so yeah I really enjoyed that clay mask it was really nice and refreshing and rejuvenating and I rinse out my deep conditioner again and I'm going to start off with my moisturizing process and as you can see this is what the deep conditioner did to my hair leave my left my hair feeling so soft but I will admit since you know I made that DIY deep conditioner it was a bad choice for me because I it, it couldn't rinse out properly so I know that this is definitely going to leave some flakes in my hair when it dries which I'm kind of used to because I'm used to having flakes but I don't think it's gonna leave that much flakes but I don't know if you guys can notice but if you see yeah and this is what I'm using the on check he's leaving conditioner and I'm just going to start applying it and by the way I'm using the LCO method to moisturize my hair so I'm starting in with my leave-in then I use a cream and then I use a butter as my oil to seal my hair off
Okay guys, we're approaching to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you so, so much for watching. And my hair is feeling so good, rejuvenated, moisturized, and feeling so lovely. Bye.